Hello, I'm Carolyn Clifford, and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. New information on a lawsuit involving MSU football coach Mark D'Antonio. A federal judge ruled D'Antonio can wait until after the season to be deposed by an attorney for former MSU staffer Curtis Blackwell, who is suing for wrongful termination. D'Antonio's attorney was fighting to have the deposition limited in time and scope, but the judge ruled no questions are off limits, and it will be seven hours long. Two people are dead and three others were critically injured after a police chase ended in a crash. Chopper 7 was over the scene Tuesday afternoon in the area of Chalmers and Kercheval on Detroit's east side. Police say they were in pursuit of the vehicle when it crashed into a home and caught fire. The people inside the car were believed to be involved in a series of smash and grabs about a block away. Police say an innocent bystander in another vehicle was hurt but is expected to be okay. The aerial spraying to combat the spread of eastern equine encephalitis is over, but human and animal cases are still on the rise. The 10th human case of the rare Tripoli virus was confirmed in Cass County. Five new animal cases also confirmed in horses. According to the health department, Tripoli is one of the deadliest mosquito-borne diseases in America. All right, let's get a check on your weather now. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth with your seven first alert forecast. A few more days like we've had here lately with sunshine and temperatures reaching the lower 70s between 70 and 73 Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but Wednesday morning, tomorrow morning, and also on Thursday morning, there might be a little fog here. And then late on Friday, as the sun goes down, there might be a little shower. Most of that is all really, really nice. And then be ready for the changes. Look at the drop 20 degrees between Friday and Saturday, plus wind over the weekend, especially Saturday, and some shower chances there as well. The old switcheroo. Thank you, Rexy. Social media helped police crack a lawn ornament caper in Livonia. A surveillance camera caught a woman accused of stealing a decorative moose from a yard on Seven Mile in Middle Belt. People shared the video online, and police say she was identified within just two hours. They arrested her, and criminal charges have been filed. Well, those are your 7 Action News headlines. Remember to go to WXYZ.com and, of course, our 7 app for news anytime. Have a great day.